In this video, I make a nice hot cup of coffee. I bring things together so it makes that connection and I track the numbers. It's Da Vinci time. Further to our previous case battery video, and the manufacturer has also said that they've revised the case battery that you see in this video. So what I'll do is I'll make an update video just to show you what's changed when it arrives. So here's our first look at the latest case battery. And if you haven't seen our previous video, it's now being suggested in the top corner. And the use cases that feature in that video also apply to this version. So before we get going, I just wanted to highlight a few things. So first up, this is a budget option and it is put together in a way to save costs. So next up, this is a good option for those who don't want to DIY their own battery. So next on the list has to be the simple no fuss design. Essentially, it's just some cells added to a BMS in a box, that's it. And finally, it has to be the fact that this battery is serviceable. So if in future you wish to swap out components, unlike some of the drop-in replacement options where you have to break the case open, you don't need to do so in this case. So now that's out of the way, I just wanted to say one more thing about this and the previous case battery in the fact that they've worked flawlessly with my MPP solar inverter. And if you want to see my DIY station build, it's currently being suggested in the top corner right now. Anyway, enough chat, let's go. So when you empty the box, this is what you're left with. And just like the other case battery, you get a mains charger and it has one of these kind of two pin plugs. But what they have done is they've put a couple of adapters in here. So they've got a two pin rounded end adapter there. And also the UK version here with the three pin so you can charge from a UK wall socket. And also they put in a couple of battery cables here and these are 10 gauge cables. Uh, so you can connect up here to whatever you're going to power. And obviously the case battery itself. So that's what comes in the box. Time for a quick look round now. So let's start off here with the business end as such. And it's pretty much the same as it was on the previous version. There's still two eight millimeter main terminals here. I have a DC 5521 output there, and that's good for 10 amps. Have the input here for the mains charger. And in the middle, there's a new addition here, which is two USB quick charge ports, and you can switch them on just by touching it there. And it has a handy dust cover. And here's your main battery display, which gives you the uh, temperature, the overall charge and the voltage. And again, you just click that to switch it off. So if we move around to this side, we have a handle obviously, and also two clips to keep the lid down. And there's also two securing bolts as well to make sure the lid stays in place. And around here, there's nothing much to talk about. We have a couple of hinges here. And on the bottom again, there's nothing much to talk about. So that concludes the quick tour. Right, it's time for a direct comparison between the previous version and the current version in terms of the cases themselves. So as you'll see here, the previous version case looks a lot bigger from the top. So it's actually longer and it's also slightly wider as well than the current version. But what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to turn it so we can get the side on view and just see where the differences are there. So as you can see from this side on view, the newer version is actually much deeper than the previous version. So this had a bigger footprint, meaning that this hasn't. So I prefer this one actually because it's a lot more compact. So what I'm going to do now is just open these up and just show you what differences there are inside. So it's time to look under the lids now and see what's changed between the versions. So here on the original version, you can see they've used lots of spray foam to keep the battery central and stable within the case itself. But in the newer version, it looks like they've done a much better job of actually sizing the cells to match the case itself. So there's virtually no room around the outside for them to move about. And they've also put these sort of foam blocks here to actually make sure that it doesn't move when the lid's down. So in actual fact, they've done a great job at making this compact and a lot neater inside, especially bearing in mind this is a budget unit. Further to the previous video, and to be honest with you, I'm not a fan of modified sine wave inverters, and I think it's worth stretching the budget to get a pure sine wave, which is on my list to get at a later date. So I did, and I bought this 1000 watt pure sine wave inverter from Beztech. And as you can see on the front here, it comes with a couple of USB ports, two AC outlets there, 
one display, a power button. And if we look on the back here, we've got our main terminal connections here and one, two, three, four fuses for added protection. And here we have our fan for cooling. So the reason I got this particular one is the fact it's lightweight, it's compact, and it doesn't need to be bolted to anything. And most importantly, it comes with a handle so that it goes hand in hand with the case battery, especially when you're out and about. But one thing I didn't like about what came in the box with the Best Tech were the cables themselves. I think they're a bit lightweight for running this kind of wattage off a bit. And also the lugs don't seem to be covered very well by these particular sort of covers on the end of the cables. So I've got extra cables and I'm just going to show you that and hook this up now. So before I hook up to the positive terminal here, I just wanted to cover off a couple of things. And first up are the cables that I've got to replace the cables that come with the Beztech, which I'm not very happy with. So these are actually 25 millimeter squared cables here. And this is the nice copper cable that I've shown in previous videos. And also the fact that these come pre-made, they've already got the lugs attached, so you haven't got to worry. You can just literally plug them straight in. And the other thing that I'm going to be doing is I'm not going to be using a circuit breaker in this case because I already have the fuses that are inbuilt into the best tech. But the other thing you need to remember is the fact that once you hook the battery up to the inverter, there'll be a sudden inrush from the battery while it charges the capacitors, which will usually create a spark between these two elements. So to prevent that spark happening, and I've got this resistor here, and what I'll do is I'll hold that on there like so, so it makes that connection and stops that spark happening. So what you do is you just pull that straight off and put that on and then there's no spark. You screw that on like so. Make sure it's tight and the inverter's attached. What better way to do a quick test of a battery and inverter combo by having a cup of coffee? And this is my trusty coffee machine and it uses about 1200 watts. So that should test the best tech here, which I know has a 1000 watt limit, but it can go up to about 1200 watts for short periods of time. So one thing I have noticed with the best tech is the display in watts seems to read a little bit high. So that's why I've got this power meter plugged in here, just to see whether we're getting the same kind of readings on both when the coffee machine's running. Anyway, enough chat, let's get a coffee on the go. So I'm just pushing it now to start heating it up. And you probably hear the fans in uh, motion on the uh, best tech at the moment. So let's see what that's doing at the moment. The fan's gone up a bit now. So it's doing what it should be doing now. And it's heating up the coffee. And it's kicked into high gear now because it's using more. You'll see the battery display as well on there. Right, that's ready to go now, so let's get on with the coffee. So we're pushing the limits of the uh, best tech here, so it's still working at the moment. And that's done. Let's just check that out. Favourite bit now. And it worked. Nice hot cup of coffee.
We hope you liked our video. All the links you'll need to be in the description below. Please like, share, subscribe, and hit the bell icon. And stay tuned to Dad Vinci.